Hello. In this video today, we are going to show you how to import Matrix uh, Gold designs into Counter Sketch. So, as you know, Matrix Gold is a software that you can start from uh, from zero. You can make any design that you want, and Counter Sketch is based on a library. But you can also import your uh, designs from Matrix Gold. So you have the right tool to design anything that you want in Matrix Gold, and a very powerful tool to sell your designs that is counter sketch. So let me show you how to do this. First thing and very important is that um, counter sketch recognize the layers from matrix hall. This means that if we change the material from layers, we will be able to apply different materials in counter sketch. So let me first start doing that. So I will select all these stones and I will bring them into this layer. And then I will also get this and this and I will bring it into this layer. All right, so now we have uh, four different layers with material, uh, different materials. So we have the center stone, the accent stones, we have the petals, and we have these two shanks. So we will be able in counter sketch to apply different materials. The second important part is how do we need to export this uh, geometry? So when I go to export, I select the objects that I want to export. And as you can see, I'm saving them into this uh, folder. All right, so just to be sure that I remember where, where I have it. And you need to save it on a Rhino 5 model. The reason why is because Counter Sketch is running on Rhino 5. If we save them in Rhino 6, then we won't be able to open them from Rhino, uh, from Counter Sketch, sorry. All right, so here I will just add petals. Solitaire, and I will save it. All right, so now we have this file saved with the uh, different layers, and now it's time to go to Counter Sketch. Let me go and start from the beginning. So, from Counter Sketch, you can go to the freehand parts, and in the freehand parts, you, we have the user parts. In the user parts, as you can see, I already have one design, and now what I will do is just import another one. I'm already in the folder where I want to be, but we need to change what kind of file do we want to import. So I want to import Rhino documents. So now, as you can see, we have all these uh, Rhino documents, but all these are saved in Rhino 6 because Matrix Wall is in Rhino 6. But we should have the Petals uh, Solitaire, that this is the one that I saved now, that this is saved in Rhino 5. So if I click on Open, I get it here. And now, if I double click, it will come out into the counter sketch viewport, right? So now I can rotate it. I can show it to the customers. And if a customers want to see it with different materials, because I imported these materials in different layers, I can go to all these uh, different materials that we have and I can change them. So if I go for the emerald, I get an emerald in the center. If I want the shanks to be on yellow gold, I don't know. Ah, there we go. So we have them in yellow gold. All right, so if I want everything in yellow gold, what I need to do is just do everything in yellow gold. I will use the, to the same yellow gold for both of them. And again, with the stones, I can go and change them to any color that I want. All right, so this is a great option uh, if you have the two softwares. And what I really like is that on top of this, you can go and keep adding uh, freehand parts. So if you want to add um, some little detail, you can grab any of these uh, hundreds of different designs that we have. Just if you want to add a flower, uh, let's see what we have here. Something that can... Uh, let me look at the design and let me try something. So maybe what we can do is just use one of these scrolls Let's see how does this one looks like. So now I will import this part and I will attach it to my counter sketch. All right, so there we go. We have it here. We will make it smaller.
and we will adapt it. Just to add it in the middle of this petal. All right, so I have it here. Just let me bring it a bit down and like this. And now what we can do is just click here. I can just adapt it to the curve that these petals have. Okay. And now I can add as many as I want. So I have five. We have six close. So we'll go to six. Let me do it again. So we want the position first we, where we want to start from. So I will move them to here. I will add six and then the angle that we want for all this copy. So I want the last one to finish just in this position. Let me be sure that is the right spot. All right, very cool. So now we have this new design. So you can also personalize the design that you have done in Matrix Hall from, from Counter Sketch. So this is what you can do once you have Matrix Hall and Counter Sketch. So the right tool to make any design, and then with Counter Sketch, uh, the, another great tool to uh, show it to the customer and uh, personalize it with um, the freehand parts that we have in Counter Sketch. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.